My name is Father Frank Dursaich, and I'm a Divine Word missionary. And our society works in 60 countries, and we have at the present moment more than 40 bishops throughout the world. And some are even archbishops, and one of them is here with us today. Thank you, Father Frank. Uh, I am Archbishop Leo Cornelio of Bhopal Archdiocese. This archdiocese is located in uh, the central part of India, in Madhya Pradesh, so to say. And uh, there are about uh, 80 million people in the whole state with nine dioceses, and there's one archdiocese. This is the ninth year now for me as the archbishop. And I'm happy to have met Father Frank here last year and this year, and we have been able to exchange a lot of our concerns and ideas. So what is so wonderful about this mission in India is that several of the American Divine Word missionaries have worked there. And um, I remember in a seminary, I was working in the medicine room where we would pack medicines and send them to the missions. And we were always creating big uh, crates of medicine for India. And uh, I often wonder what happened to that medicine. I'm sure it was put to good use. There was a time uh, in early uh, missionary times when our SVDs went to Indoor and spread around in rural areas helping out the people because they were working mostly among the tribal people, tribals and Dalits. Dalit means the lowest caste, which meant that uh, they had very, very poor conditions to live in, especially in the rural area. There was no much care, there were no roads. People used to go by horseback or bullock cart uh, during those uh, in 40s and 50s even. And then uh, they used to go on visits to the villagers for months together and with them they used to carry medicines, they used to carry uh, whatever little food stuff they had and help out the villagers. And in this way they would return to the base only after two to three months of visit. And there is a particular story I remember that uh, at night uh, one father, uh, two fathers were going by bullock cart and suddenly the bullock stopped and they were they showed such a fright and right away as they flashed the torch they found a tiger staring at them a big tiger so some or other that light was the one that stopped the tiger from coming forward and uh, eventually the tiger moved away and they were able to move off from there and they went away because the bullocks really uh, very easily able to are able to sense the danger so that's how, that's how they were saved. Another time I remember that one father in the morning went to some place uh, because there, is, there are no toilets. He went out and so on and he encountered a panther and he had to fight with the panther. He lost his gun and then his catechist picked up the gun. Somehow he was bold enough. He wanted to save father. He, he picked up the gun and shot the panther and he had been very badly uh, hurt and he was treated at the hospital. There were so many cases of this sort. So God bless you all for watching and thank you. Thank you. And thank you, Krishna. Good.